Hey there, it's Sam. In JavaScript, there are a few data types. The first one I'm going to introduce you is called a string data type, which is basically text data. You may have seen this already in a previous video. To create a string, we simply wrap text around with quotation marks. You can create a string by using either single quotes or double quotes, and they make no difference to the string that you created. I tend to favor single quotes because they are easier to type, and I'm too lazy to hold a shift button. We can join string, also known as concatenate strings in programming terms, using the plus symbol. Since we're performing an operation, the plus symbol, which is the main driver of this operation, is also known as the operator. And the same applies to the equal sign when we want to assign a variable. The equal sign is also considered as an operator. Next up, we have numbers. Numbers are any numeric data type, whether they have decimals or not. In programming terms, numbers that have decimals are called float. And numbers without decimals are called integer. In some programming languages, floats and integer are different types. But in JavaScript, both of them are belongs to the number data type. Just like a calculator, we can add, minus, multiply and divide numbers using mathematical operators. Booleans are true and false value, which is extremely useful when we're doing comparison. We'll be looking at how to use Boolean value in the next video. Arrays are data type that can store multiple values in one go. For example, if I want to store an array of fruits, I can set it equal to square bracket, which is the syntax of creating an array. And inside the square bracket, we can put in whatever data that we want to put in. Each element will need to be separated by commas. Object is a list of key and value pairs. And this is one of the most powerful feature in JavaScript. That's how I want to keep track of how many fruits I have eaten today. To declare an object, we use curly braces. Then we'll type in a key, colon, and a value, and we'll put in a comma to proceed to the next key and value pair. If we happen to use the same key, the later key will override the previous key. For example, the latest apple here will override the previous apple, so apple will now have a value of 1. Let's print out to the console, and if you believe me, apple will be 1. The null data type means empty. It is useful when we want to initialize the value of a variable to something. Don't worry too much about it now, as we'll learn more about the use cases in the future videos. The undefined data type usually means the variable hasn't been initialized yet. By default, if we don't give a variable a value, it will be undefined. You can also explicitly set the variable to undefined if you prefer. None, which stands for not a number, appears when we try to perform numerical operation to non-numeric data. For example, if we try to divide a number by an object, we get none. However, JavaScript does allow us to divide a number by a numeric string. We get infinity when we try to divide a number by zero. Now, I want to talk a little bit about some strange behavior in JavaScript. What do you think will happen if I add the number one to the string five? I'll give you one second to think about it. Time's up. The answer is the string one five. Why? Because JavaScript is weird. When you try to add numeric data to a string, JavaScript always convert the numeric data into a string. So they end up being a string concatenate operation rather than addition. Is there a workaround for this? Yes. We can convert the string into a number by wrapping it around with a number function. And now we're adding a number to a number. So we can expect the result of this operation to be 3. There are a lot of other weird JavaScript behavior which will be discussed as we learn more about JavaScript. Key takeaway for this lesson, string number boolean array object now and undefined are JavaScript's basic data type. Operators are symbols like plus, minus, multiply, divide, and the equal sign. We use operator to perform programming operations like addition, subtraction, string concatenation, and so on. JavaScript has some weird behaviors that we should be careful of. That's it for now, and I'll see you again shortly. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.